When that place opened, I it know, was right? bougie. And now it's coming again, Ooh. a second act. It was the fancy, <laughs> fancy mall. Wow. Folks would go there just to be there. Right, which is why it ended up not doing so well, because we couldn't afford it. You're right, but now it's coming back. Right? Hopefully it'll be more affordable, and it will, yeah, obviously with all the residential there yeah. and the hotel, that okay. should be a built-in clientele for all of the businesses in that space. Yeah. Fingers crossed it works much better this time around. Uh, we have a viewer photo to show everybody wow. behind me. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. All the colors. Do we and, know where this is? Um, so here's where Betsy it did good things, but I'm still, you solicited, I'm still but terrible <laughs> at my job. Because That's not I, true. I got this in an email and Stephen, I can't remember who sent it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hit for it. So give me give me a minute. I'll get back on this. Right, She's probably well, they, home screaming right now. Bets, but it's beautiful. Isn't it just gorgeous? gorgeous? This is what everybody is loving so much, these blue this skies. and All the colors. That's what fall is all about. Minute. Yeah, yeah. At least for a couple weeks, peak foliage. I mean, it's just well, been a fantastic. As long as the winds aren't too crazy. Yeah, yeah. We I have mean, a little breeze ooh, coming. Yeah, things That'll are going to knock get... all those leaves off the trees. <sighs> yeah. We're trying I mean, to hold that. Hold okay. on to I, I it as long game. as you can. Right now, we're looking at a crash. Uh, some slowdowns as you head southbound on 77 before Miller Road. This is just south of Parma, but outside of that, things are pretty quiet on all the main arteries. It's mild. It's really mild. Unprecedented mild when it comes to the temperatures. As we wrap up the afternoon, downtown, we're in the low 80s. Elsewhere, we're in the mid to upper 70s. For Cleveland Hopkins Airport, uh, 1947, we recorded a high of 81 degrees. So that is what we're looking for as we wrap up the next hour for the official, uh, I guess, preliminary numbers to see if we uh, tied or uh, got warmer than that over the past couple of hours. Off to the south and west, St. Louis over to Kansas City. We do have a lot of mild temperatures that's going to continue to flow in our direction. Meanwhile, up to the north and west, we do have an inbound front, and that's going to give us the big change and also the wind speeds. They're really going to be picking up, so take advantage of the fall foliage because the winds are really going to be knocking a lot of leaves down. Off to the west, you can see this line of just showers that's fizzling and pretty much breaking apart. We have a lot of mild and dry air out in front of our next cold front. We can see relative humidity value still below 50%. So it's going to uh, it's going to take a lot for the atmosphere to overturn for us to see a little bit more moisture with this inbound front. If not, we're looking at wind speeds picking up anywhere between 20 to 25 miles an hour, especially for tonight. Temperatures only cooling off into the upper 50s, low 60s. A mild start, and if it's your trash date for tomorrow, it could be in your neighbor's yard by the time we wrap up the afternoon. The wind speeds are going to be picking up throughout the day with our next inbound front that's going to be sliding in. So we pick up a southwest wind for tonight. Then here comes the front as we get close to the midday. I'm thinking between 1 and 2 o'clock that front will be arriving here. But check out the wind gusts as we go throughout time. Not much to really track from the skies above. A strong southwest wind flow. Here's midday temperatures, upper 60s, low 70s. We warm back up into the mid 70s possibly, but here comes the front around 2 and 3 o'clock, bringing a west wind and eventually winds will be switching out of the north. They could spark a few lake effect showers if we're lucky near our lake shore around the dinner time hour, clearing out as we get closer to Thursday morning. Clear skies along with the north breeze. It will be a chilly start, upper 30s to low 40s by the time we're waking up for Thursday morning, but remaining dry. Another chance of rain bill will be arriving here as we approach late Friday into early Saturday. Here's your Union Home Mortgage 70 outlook. A slight bump in our temperatures come Friday afternoon, upper 60s. That's going to be nice watching out for rain showers to conclude your work week into this weekend, remaining unseasonably cool, but with calmer winds. So, yes, it will be cooler, but sunny skies. Another opportunity. Enjoy those nice fall colors. Right. Sandy Walner. There's the email. There we go. All right. <laughs> where, now do Sandy we know where? Sandy Walner. It's Brunswick Lake in Brunswick in well, northern Medina County. Isn't it beautiful? So That's thanks gorgeous. again, Sandy. Sorry I messed the name thing up. That's okay. We figured it out. It's this whole thing. AC, thanks.